48 hours before the Money in the Bank live premiere event. It is an all-star eight-man tag team match tonight on SmackDown as a team led by the Apex Predator Randy Orton meets a team led by the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre. Eight egos clash in the main event live tonight on SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. And what bigger way to kick things off live from Dayton, Ohio, than with the Cruiserweight Championship set to be defended. This Sunday is Money in the Bank. We'll be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time from Columbus, Ohio. But tonight here in Dayton, that man, the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough has got himself a golden opportunity at Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar and the championship is on the line. J.D. McDonough outlasting Axiom and Wesley last week in a triple threat matchup, one fall to a finish. The Irish Ace pulling the cards at the right moment and able to capitalize on a weekend Wesley getting the one, two, three and punching his ticket to SmackDown tonight. Of course, Santos Escobar, your current Cruiserweight Champion of the World. This is his first title defense since that epic Extreme Lucha Rules match last month at, a, last month at King of the Ring, excuse me, in Philadelphia, where Santos retained the Cruiserweight gold over the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. Santos Escobar now looking to expand upon his challenges, if you will, in the Cruiserweight division. Three men had an opportunity seven nights ago, but only one man was gonna make their way to Dayton tonight, and that man is the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. A man who has held gold before, but will he hold gold again tonight against the four-time, excuse me, three-time Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Santos Escobar. It is a big way to kick things off tonight on SmackDown, just 48 hours before money in the bank. Legato del Fantasma in arms tonight. And you know, the popularity of LDF has really started to grow within the SmackDown fan base. And I think a lot of that has to do with the mutual respect that has been gained between Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio after the wars they have had throughout the first half of 2023. First at WrestleMania back in February, then at Vengeance in May. And as we mentioned at King of the Ring last month in Philadelphia, the WWE Universe gaining a massive amount of respect for the man who holds the gold and the leader of Legado del Fantasma, the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar. Still to come tonight on SmackDown in your main event, it is an eight-man tag team all-star clash as Randy Orton, Austin Theory, Ron Breaker, and Robert Roode meet Dolph Ziggler, Ricochet, the Rated R Superstar Edge in the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre. But right here, right now, the Cruiserweight Championship of the World is on the line. Introducing the challenger from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. And his opponent, from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds. He is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar. Big fight feel here tonight in Dayton for the Cruiserweight Championship. Santos Escobar set to defend the gold that he has worked so hard to upkeep against the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, a hungry challenger that, as we mentioned, outlasted Axiom and Wesley in a triple threat matchup seven nights ago. Big way to kick things off in what is going to be a mon monstrous weekend here in the WWE. Of course, our channel member exclusive WWE Live event 24 hours from now will feature the in-ring return of the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Here we go, kicking things off. J.D. McDonough and Santos Escobar. McDonough gunning for Escobar's gold. You gotta wonder what Santos and Escobar, if there's any ring rust there. First time he's gonna be back inside the ring since defending successfully that Cruiserweight Championship against Rey Mysterio, a king of the ring last month. 
It's absolutely grueling matchup. Of course, with the Extreme Lucha Rules, Santos Escobar winning the matchup. Two pinfalls to none against Rey Mysterio. But now Escobar back inside the squared circle, finally tonight with a hungry challenger awaiting him. So far, so good, with McDonough off his feet. There's a kick, off, kick out by the Irish Ace. Santos Escobar only coming into this matchup. With one championship defense, as we mentioned, under his belt, winning that title yet again back at Vengeance in May. Of course, Joaquin Wild, Cruz del Toro, ringside. Those two men have been known to stick their nose in Santos Escobar's business. You gotta wonder if they're gonna play a factor into this matchup here tonight. It's J.D. McDonough on the run for the Cruiserweight Champion here. Look out on El Fantasma, Santos Escobar, sending the Irish Ace off the apron. Santos build the momentum in the early going of this Cruiserweight Championship match tonight in Dayton. And wait a minute, Escobar over the top rope of the crossbody. Cruiserweight action at its finest to kick things off on Friday Night SmackDown. J.D. McDonough trying to get back into this matchup. Escobar on his tail, however, hanging him up at the top rope. Santos looking good so far is the defending champion. Now into another cover. Will that do it? Enough to keep McDonough down, not just yet. J.D. McDonough has been building momentum for himself on SmackDown. You remember that dominating victory about a month and change ago here in the blue brand against Akira Tozawa. McDonough made a lot of noise on that night. And able to keep down Axiom and a former NXT North American champion in West Lee last week. J.D. McDonough certainly deserving of his spot here tonight against Escobar and a beautiful double underhook powerbomb. Elects not to go for the pinfall there. McDonough, wait a minute, headbutt combination. Saito, and we may have a new cruiserweight champion. Well, the same combination that he used to keep down Wes Lee last week, not enough to keep down Santos. Speaks volumes of Escobar and how far he has come just in the last few months in all those wars against Rey Mysterio. Santos Escobar, the reigning defending Cruiserweight Champion. And although J.D. McDonough is a formidable challenger, it is not going to be an easy task to keep down the Emperor of Lucha Libre. It's not going to be an easy task for Escobar to take McDonough off his feet and keep him there as well. Certainly whoever walks away with the gold in this matchup is going to be worthy of holding the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. McDonough, look at this, Springboard Tornado taking down Escobar. McDonough looking good. Escobar might have survived that Saido, but Kenny built some momentum in this matchup. Able to shove JD off of him, a nice kick. Escobar looking to prove tonight that he is on top of the Cruiserweight division for a reason, but a crash and burn for the champion. Escobar went diving through the ropes to find nobody in the destination landing. J.D. McDonough now on the tail of Santos Escobar, looking to pick up on the bones at ringside. McDonough can't win the championship by a count out tonight. He knows that, but he can certainly use his surroundings to his advantage as he is doing right now. Just rubbing salt in the wounds of the champion. Escobar crash and burn landing on that suicide dive. Handing the momentum on a silver platter to J.D. McDonough, who's now got Santos. Fireman's carry position and spins out with it. Into the cover to win the championship. Not just yet. Escobar survives again. Oh, nice haymaker there by Escobar. A little bit of adrenaline here. Reverse Rana. Poison Rana. Down goes the Iris Ace. Santos Escobar kicking it into a new gear. He felt his Cruiserweight Championship nearly slipping through the grasp and not looking to allow that tonight. Down goes the challenger, but it almost had him. Not just yet for Escobar. Great matchup to kick things off tonight in Dayton, Ohio. The final Friday night SmackDown before Money in the Bank this Sunday. Done on the top rope by way of Escobar, and Santos are gonna meet him there at the Frankensteiner that sends him halfway across the ring. The challenger's down, and he's not looking too hot. The champion's on fire from the top with the splash, into the cover. 
to retain. He almost had him. Almost had him. J.D. McDonough gets the shoulder up. And Escobar's got to keep his composure. Cannot allow the challenger's will to keep fighting to mess with his psyche in this matchup. And there's a knee. And if Escobar didn't hesitate to attack, that may not have happened. And that may be a TKO. Oh, and half a second away from a new Cruiserweight Champion. How close was that? J.D. McDonough almost leaving Dayton, Ohio tonight, the new Cruiserweight Champion of the world. Oh, wait a minute. Well, we said earlier, Legato del Fantasma, no strangers to stick in their nose where it doesn't belong at times. Escobar trying to grab a handful of tights to no avail. But at least hand Santos the momentum back. Either way, you spin it. This has been a phenomenal matchup thus far between J.D. McDonough and Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship. Tilt to World Backbreaker. Very Eddie Guerrero-esque out of the arsenal of the leader of Legado del Fantasma. And another one for good measures. McDonough's going to feel that on Saturday morning. Nice counter by J.D. There's one by Santos on the shoulders. And we know what comes next. A phantom driver by the champion. And that'll do it. Well, a great effort by the Iris Ace, J.D. McDonough, kicking things off tonight on SmackDown. Nearly had Santos Escobar at several moments in this contest, as you are witnessing right now. But in the end, the Cruiserweight Championship of the world remains in the grasp of Legato Del Fantasma. Here's your winner, and still, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar. Well, who is gonna be next to step up to the Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar, on top of the world right now? Another big time win for the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Ladies and gentlemen, coming your way tomorrow night. Become a channel member today, and you will not miss out on tomorrow night's epic WWE live event featuring the in-ring return of the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. And The Miz of Monday Night Raw has drawn the unfortunate luck of challenging Brock tomorrow night at WWE Live. Also signed for 24 hours from now, the women's tag team titles are on the line. Kaden Carter and Katana Chance put the gold up against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. The way looking to win back the gold they lost at WrestleMania. And then for the World Tag Team Championship signed earlier in the week, on behalf of Monday Night Raw, the Street Profits has got themselves a golden opportunity against the Judgment Day. Become a channel member today and don't miss out on WWE Live tomorrow night. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. We are back live in Dayton, Ohio for the final Friday Night Smackdown before this Sunday's Money in the Bank live premiere event. We'll be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time, just 24 hours from tonight in Columbus, Ohio at the Nationwide Arena. But as for Friday Night Smackdown, Angel and Humberto have drawn the unfortunate task of trying to topple Gallows Anderson along with the phenomenal AJ Styles, the O.C. And their opponents, accompanied by AJ Styles, at a combined weight of 505 pounds, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the O. Well, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows made their WWE return upwards of over a month ago in a six-man tag team matchup. These three men taking down Imperium. Gallows and Anderson also, also won a victory over maximum male models in recent history on SmackDown. Looking to keep that momentum going tonight. Angel and Humberto 
In recent memory, these two men were challenging for the World Tag Team Championships just a few months ago. I'm sure both of these teams would love to earn a future chance at whoever is going to be World Tag Team Champions after tomorrow night's WWE Live event. As we mentioned, as you just saw moments ago, Finn Balor and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day set to defend the gold against Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits tomorrow night at WWE Live. I'm sure one of these teams would love to be next in line for a shot at the gold as Humberto taking the fight to the big LG Luke Gallows as this tag team matchup kicks off tonight in Dayton, Ohio. Of course, the phenomenal AJ Styles. He's got a busy weekend ahead as well as he'll be one of six competitors in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. AJ Styles, Braun Breaker, and Ricochet representing Friday Night SmackDown. Tommaso Ciampa, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Seth freaking Rollins representing Monday Night Raw this Sunday in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. AJ Styles, it's about this time last year that he was contesting for the WWE Championship. He even held the WWE title last year as well. I'm sure AJ would love to take down the briefcase and guarantee himself a long-awaited chance to be world champion yet again here in the WWE. AJ's got to get it done this Sunday night at the Nationwide Arena. But nonetheless, Angel, the legal man, with big old Luke Gallows right now, who's getting back into this matchup, but a tag made to Machine Gun, Carl Anderson. And Angel won none of that fight. Tag made to Humberto, we got fresh legs on opposite sides of the squared circle. But a nice neck breaker there. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, world-traveled veterans of the business. They're back in WWE for a reason. Cast some checks and win some championships. Got to get the momentum on their side to do so. And Gallows and Anderson have certainly been building an impressive resume since rejoining Friday Night SmackDown back in May. Humberto might have taken out Carl Anderson there, but Luke Gallows, the big man on his tail, and the powerhouse of the OC, we're going to secure another victory for the original club tonight. As we mentioned, still to come, your all-star eight-man tag team main event as the world heavyweight champion Drew McIntyre alongside Ricochet, Dolph Ziggler, and the rated R superstar Edge will take on the Apex Predator Randy Orton, Braun Breaker, the glorious Robert Roode, and the 2023 King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory. It is a all-star lineup still to come in your main event of SmackDown. Carl Anderson now in with Angel Garza yet again. And another tag made. You see the OC really coming into this match with a strategy tonight. And one of the last times we saw, oh, wait a minute here, wait a minute. My goodness, what a powerful maneuver. Angel Garza eating the canvas for Friday night dinner. No takeout on that one. And Angel Garza able to kick out, but for how much longer is Los Lotharios going to continue to fight in this contest? As I was about to mention, Gallows and Anderson frequent tags in this contest, and you gotta wonder if that is a real strategic move as one of the last times we've seen Angel and Humberto inside the squared circle it was back in April when Ricochet and Mustafa Ali were in the midst of their tag team title reign, and Los Lotharios went the distance, albeit in a losing effort for the world tag team titles. Anderson and Gallo's students of the game, they know Angel and Garza can, as we mentioned, go the distance, fight in the deep waters. They're trying to stay fresh, stay consistent in this matchup. As things are starting to break down as Carl Anderson has got Alberto down and out of ringside. The OC telling Los Lotharios, don't start a fight, you can't finish. But Angel Garza looking to bring it to a close inside of the squared circle, and he almost had Luke Gallo's there, but to no avail. A high-flying cruiserweight action of Angel and Humberto trying to throw Gallows and Anderson off their game tonight. Gallows getting back into the ring, but a little bit exhausted as Gallows now getting double teamed in the corner by Los Lotharios. And a nice double boots to the chest to Luke Gallows, and that may do it. Into the cover. Got the victory, not just yet. Tag made to Humberto. Luke Gallows just trying to get his wits about him here. Fighting out of enemy territory with his back against the wall. But there's a big time clothesline. 
Simple yet effective maneuver by the big LG. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, as we mentioned a few moments ago, they are back for a reason in WWE. They want an opportunity at championship gold, but they got to keep getting the W's if they want to get that chance and a vintage spine buster out of the arsenal of the machine gun. And he almost had him had it not been for the numbers game. Angel Garza breaking up the pinfall there. Carl Anderson just trying to throw Angel off his game. The spine buster certainly going to do the damage to Humberto, but not enough to keep down Los Lotharios for the three. Another tag made to the big LG. Gallows and Anderson, like a well-oiled machine inside of the squared circle. They've been around the world and back years and years. And Gallows and Anderson are looking hot right now. Double team maneuver. Luke Gallows full head of steam going after Humberto here. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide from the big man of the original club. Out to make some noise and make a statement on Friday Night SmackDown. A Luke Gallows giving Angel a taste of his own medicine after the cheap shot a few moments ago. Down goes Gores on the apron. Gallows is fired up. Owen oh, Humberto, an eye for an eye, knocking Anderson off the apron. Making this tag team matchup a singles fray, at least for a moment. Oh, wait a minute, Gallows. Down goes Humberto. That's like falling off the Eiffel Tower. And there's the, the victory. An impressive showing out of Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. The original club is making waves on Friday Night SmackDown. And could we be looking at a future challengers for the WWE World Tag Team titles? AJ Styles looking to bring that momentum into Money in the Bank this Sunday as well. Here are your winners, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC. The OC is on the hunt for some hardware. Could we be looking at a trio of future champions here on Friday Night SmackDown? The action continues tonight in Dayton, Ohio, as Candice LeRae looks to build the, some momentum towards tomorrow night. She goes one-on-one -on -one with Dakota Kai, plus Chad Gable in action against Maximum Male Models Mansoir. And the results of those contests see the ways Candice LeRae picking up the W against Dakota Kai. The way challenge for the gold tomorrow night at WWE Live. And Alpha Academy's Chad Gable picking up the victory over Maximum Male Models Mansois here on Friday Night SmackDown. Well, we are live in just 48 hours from the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio. 5 p.m. Eastern Time for the 2023 Money in the Bank. And it is going to be a huge night of action this Sunday as the United States Championship is on the line. The master of the 619, Rey Mysterio, looks to be the kryptonite to the undefeated ring general Guther's United States title reign. And speaking of somebody who is absolutely invincible and damn near indestructible, Ilya Dragunov meets the number one contender, L.A. Knight, for the Intercontinental Championship. WWE Women's title is on the line in the King of the Ring rematch. Liv Morgan will the third time be a charm. Will she be able to finally figure out the puzzle that has been the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler? It is the six-woman Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Bianca Belair, Raquel Rodriguez, Rhea Ripley, Io Sky, Michin, Mia Yim, and the man Becky Lynch. The opportunity hangs high above the ring, but only one of these women are going to be able to seize it. And then, of course, there is the six-man Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Tommaso Ciampa, Ricochet, AJ Styles, Braun Breaker, Seth Rollins, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Who is going to climb the ladder, retrieve the briefcase, and earn a future championship opportunity? It is the Monday Night Raw main event. The Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, looking to bring Doomsday upon the original bro, Matt Riddle's WWE Championship reign. All hell breaking loose this past Monday. Something's got to give on Sunday night. 
And on SmackDown side, it is a triple threat for the World Heavyweight Championship. The Viper Randy Orton, the Rated R Superstar Edge, and the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre. Three men enter, but only one will leave with the big gold belt. And speaking of the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, the fire-breathing dragon that is, Drew McIntyre, laser focused on money in the bank. But there's one final stop to be made. And that's an all-star eight-man tag team main event with one word simply riding on the line, momentum. Who is going to grab it? Who is going to seize it? And who is going to ride full steam ahead into Columbus, Ohio? The following is an eight-man tag match. Introducing first from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre is on the run of a lifetime as the face of Friday Night SmackDown, and most importantly, the World Heavyweight Champion. McIntyre's momentum really kicked off all the way back in January when he won the Elimination Chamber matchup, and he rode it into WrestleMania, where he defeated Seth Rollins to become the World Heavyweight Champion. Since then, he has successfully defended the gold, against John Cena in a match of the year candidate at Backlash, turning away the young, hungry Braun Breaker in May at Vengeance, and then last month at King of the Ring in a one-on-one -on -one battle against the Hall of Famer Edge. Well, he will meet Edge as well as Randy Orton this Sunday, but what about this man's opportunity that rides on the line? The one and only human highlight reel of SmackDown Ricochet could he be climbing the ladder on Sunday night for the briefcase? And his partners from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet, the human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown, has got a golden opportunity this Sunday night as one of six men in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. But first things first, it is an all-star eight-man tag team main event, and it is coming your way. Up next, don't go anywhere. Friday Night SmackDown will be back in just a moment. Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. We are back live in Dayton, Ohio for the Friday Night SmackDown main event just 48 hours before Money in the Bank. And the show off Dolph Ziggler in action in this eight man tag. And you know what? We have speculated that he has got some unfinished business with a man standing across the ring with him tonight, Braun Breaker. But in order to have an eight man tag, you gotta fill out the teams. And the fourth member of this all star lineup. The rated R superstar, the Hall of Famer, Edge. A man looking to become world heavyweight champion yet again this Sunday at Money in the Bank. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds. Well, Edge had an opportunity at King of the Ring and he let it slip through his fingers after an absolute war on the battlefield with Drew McIntyre. And make no mistake about it, there is a massive amount of respect between Edge and Drew, but when the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line, respect certainly goes flying out the window. Well, Edge was able to join the World Heavyweight Championship match at Money in the Bank, 
which was originally a one-on-one -on -one affair between Drew McIntyre and this man who laid McIntyre out with his own world championship a number of weeks ago here on Friday Night SmackDown. And representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy well, I don't know who gave Mike Rome the wrong run sheet, but nonetheless, Randy Orton making his way to the squared circle and looking to become the face of Friday Night SmackDown. This is a man who dominated Monday Night Raw for months as the WWE Champion, held that title up until the main event of WrestleMania, losing it to the current champion, former friend Matt Riddle. Randy Orton, of course, was banished from Monday Night Raw after a Hell in a Cell match in April, making his way to SmackDown and the Viper has certainly made some waves ever since. Randy Orton taking what he wants, and what he wanted was an opportunity to become the World Heavyweight Champion. And all he had to do was ask, but Orton slithered his way and did it by his own self, attacking McIntyre with his own World Heavyweight Championship, throwing down the gauntlet to the Scottish Warrior. And Orton has now got his chance, a part of a triple threat affair on Sunday night. So much history between Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre. So much history between Randy Orton and Edge. And all three men are gonna clash and only one man is gonna leave, but I am sure it's gonna be a war of all wars this Sunday as the man on Friday Night SmackDown, as the face of Friday Nights, as the World Heavyweight Champion. Randy Orton laser focused coming into this matchup looking to build some momentum tonight bounce back from that one-on-one -on -one loss against Edge last week but he's got to rely on not just himself tonight but three other tag team partners and I don't know if Randy Orton is usually the kind of guy to play well with others but he better hope that his tag team partners are coming to play tonight because momentum is certainly riding on the line live from Dayton, Ohio. And representing Dirty Dogs from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Robert Roode. The only thing dirty is Mike Rome's ring announcement tonight. Who gave this guy the wrong run sheet? Nonetheless, the glorious Robert Roode. He's got issues with almost everybody on the opposite side of the ring. You're looking at Ricochet, the man who took away Robert Roode's spot in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup, defeating him in the qualifier a number of weeks ago. And Robert Roode has had multiple run-ins with the Raider R Superstar Edge and the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre over the last month and change here on SmackDown. And unfortunately for Robert Roode, none of those encounters certainly going the glorious one's way. And as we always mention, every chance you get to step inside the squared circle is a chance to turn your momentum around. And with Robert Roode surrounded by an all-star field and certainly an impressive tag team on his side, maybe tonight's the night Roode gets his hand raised, starts to rebuild some much needed momentum here on Friday Night SmackDown. All remains to be seen, but Robert Roode looks ready, looks focused. Let's see if he can right the wrong of some recent losses here tonight in Dayton. You want to talk about somebody who is always laser focused, the mean, young, and hungry blue chipper of the blue brand. Bron Breaker's coming to play, and he could be the next money in the bank. And from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Bron. We well, want to talk about somebody who has recently joined the main roster and has immediately made a splash. Look no further than the former two-time NXT champion who joined SmackDown after WrestleMania and just over the last few months has been in the ring with some of the best of them. And among this all-star field tonight, Braun Breaker looks across the ring at superstars who have certainly done him wrong. Dolph Ziggler, a man who knocked Braun Breaker out of the King of the Ring tournament last month. And Braun Breaker recently tweeting that he has not forgave nor forgotten about Dolph Ziggler's actions on that night. Ron has also, of course, 
had a run in with Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship that I'm sure he hasn't forgotten about as well. And here comes the 2023 King of the Ring, Austin Theory. And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. You gotta wonder if Austin Theory has a preference on who's gonna leave Columbus on Sunday as the World Heavyweight Champion. Because as you remember, a special perk of winning the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament was the first class ticket to the main event of SummerSlam next month, where Austin Theory will challenge the winner of SmackDown's main event on Sunday for the World Heavyweight Championship, whether that's Drew McIntyre, whether it's Edge, or whether it's Randy Orton. Austin Theory just gets to sit back with his feet up and prepare, and I should say prepare preparations for his World Championship matchup at SummerSlam. Austin Theory, just as all other seven men in this matchup, cannot look past tonight. A whole lot riding on the line. It's an all-star field eight-man tag team man event, and the bell has finally sounded here on Friday Night SmackDown. And again, we will be live this Sunday, 48 hours from now, at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the Money in the Bank live premiere event. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. You're not going to want to miss Money in the Bank as it happens live. Be sure to hit the join button down below. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Premium Pass channel member. And you will receive access to our back catalog of WWE Live events. And of course, most importantly, tomorrow night's WWE Live event. that will feature the in-ring return of the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. As he goes one-on-one -on -one with the A-list superstar, the Miz also tomorrow night. A SmackDown showdown between Johnny Gargano and Jinder Mahal. WWE Women's Tag Team Championships will be defended as Katana Chance and Caden Carter take on the way. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. And the WWE World Tag Team title set to be defended as Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day put the gold on the line against Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits. All that and more coming your way tomorrow night. Hit the join button down below, become a channel member, support the Noah Nation gaming universe. Get access to all that action. You're not gonna wanna miss a moment of what is gonna be an incredible weekend here in the WWE. McIntyre and Orton kicking this match off the last moment. I'm sure Drew McIntyre's been chomping at the bit to get his hands on Randy Orton as Ricochet in, trying to get, sneak the pinfall over the Apex Predator and how huge that would be for the human highlight reel. Again, Ricochet, one of six superstars that will be in the Money in the Bank on Sunday, as will Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker defeating Ricochet's tag team partner, Mustafa Ali, to qualify. Ricochet defeating Robert Roode, the man who is now tagged in to qualify. And I'm sure Robert Roode excited to get the chance to try to one-up the one and only tonight. Throwing a couple of haymakers, a big-time exploder to Ricochet. Robert Roode does not care what Ricochet's Sunday night festivities got in mind he wants the victory tonight even if it means by putting ricochet on the shelf in the midst of this tag team match glorious one's got all the tools to be a success he may be an egotistical son of a bitch he's a former nxt champion former tag team champion the united states champion as well he's got to get some victories here on smackdown and wait a minute Braun breaker dolph ziggler things breaking down for a moment there and as we speculated during the entrance calls Ron Breaker and Dolph Ziggler, some issues that are far from settled between those two competitors. Ron has not forgotten about how Dolph Ziggler knocked him out of the King of the Ring tournament in the very first round. The tag made to Drew McIntyre. Look at this, some tandem offense. My goodness, what a maneuver. Frankensteiner into a powerful powerbomb for the World Heavyweight Champion. Robert Roode has been on the receiving end of a lot of powerful maneuvers out of Drew McIntyre's arsenal over the last month and change, but certainly not with Ricochet's involvement. Oh, wait a minute. Again, things breaking down. And this eight-man tag as Randy Orton taking McIntyre's eye off the ball and Robert Roode taking care of Edge on the opposite side of the ring. And Austin Theory knocking the world champion down. 
McIntyre's in enemy territory right now. He's got to start swinging and try to get out of there. For the worst comes, it's Robert Roode with a suplex on the outside to the World Heavyweight Champion. All these men not looking to take a loss tonight, especially everybody who is going to be participating in action in just 48 hours at Money in the Bank. Tag made to Dolph Ziggler and taking down Robert Roode. Ziggler and Roode, a lot of history between these two men, and Dolph Ziggler does not give a damn about that history. But they're coming up short in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring. Ziggler back in action tonight, and he's looking to make the most of it. Into the cover on the glorious Robert Roode. Will that do it? Not just yet. Remember, Austin Theory was the one that knocked Dolph Ziggler out of the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring. I'm sure Ziggler hasn't forgotten. I'm sure he'd love to get his hands on Austin Theory. There's Braun Breaker making the tag, and Braun Breaker going after Dolph. This blue chipper's been chomping at the bit to get his hands on the show off. And Braun going right for Dolph Ziggler in the middle of this matchup right now. Braun has not forgotten about all the history between these two men. And he's looking to inflict some punishment on the man in the pink tonight. Ziggler able to avoid a shot, but Braun Breaker, the stranglehold in on Ziggler, and in, an emphatic spine buster. Now a tag made to Austin Theory. The opposite side of the ring is just having their way with a down Dolph Ziggler right now. Things not looking good for Drew McIntyre and company. This drop toe hold and a tag made to the rated R superstar edge. Oh, and Austin Theory met him with the punk kick. There's so much history between these two men as well. Most recently, two weeks ago on SmackDown, Edge pitting Austin Theory in that big time tag team matchup, which really catalysted Edge into being a part of the triple threat this Sunday for the World Heavyweight title. With well, this very well could be the SummerSlam main event. If Edge can walk away Columbus, Ohio on Sunday as the World Heavyweight Champion. All remains to be seen, but Edge and Austin Theory, no shortage of history, no shortage of past battles. Locking horns again in this tag team matchup. There's a tag to Ricochet and a double team maneuver. Everybody's working well at the human highlight reel. That is one thing for sure tonight. Austin Theory wanting none of the one and only as Ricochet goes after Theory, but a tag was made and a glorious spine buster by Robert Roode. Into the cover there to no avail, but a close call there for Ricochet and his three tag team partners. Well, now he's trying to steal the victory over Robert Roode. He almost had him. Whole lot of action to call in this all-star collision tonight on SmackDown. Oh, and a nice shot by Ricochet. We're not going to want to miss Money in the Bank this Sunday as Ricochet into the cover again. He almost had him. 5 p.m. Eastern time will be live. As we mentioned a few moments ago, click the subscribe button and most importantly, turn on those notifications. Find out when we go live and do not miss out on Money in the Bank for participating in all the action this Sunday night. Rude takes down Ziggler and a tag made to Braun Breaker again. It's almost as if Braun Breaker told his team before this matchup, I'll worry about the show off. Into the cover, and Ziggler gets his shoulder up before the referee can even get down for the pinfall. Just because Dolph Ziggler still got adrenaline does not mean there is still enough to fight. Braun Breaker looking to pick apart Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler still with blood pumping to the heart. A shot that at least has enough oomph behind it to take Braun off his feet, and the tag made to the rated R superstar as Braun takes Edge down. Breaker and Edge meeting for the very first time in this eight-man tag tonight. Quite frankly, this is a one-on-one -on -one matchup I would love to see down the line. A spear versus a spear. Meanwhile, Edge, execution on the blue chipper. Into the cover of Randy Orton in to break things up. Close call there for Edge and company as Edge takes down Austin Theory. Edge takes down Orton. Edge takes down Robert Roode. The Rated R Superstar is on fire, but Braun Breaker stopping the momentum dead in his tracks. Edge was starting to get Dayton, Ohio to their feet. This place was coming unglued, and Braun Breaker not allowing that offense. 
Nice counter by Edge. Uses his momentum to take Breaker off his feet. And Edge is fighting out of enemy territory right now. Oh no. Breaker going for the power bomb to no avail. Ron Breaker trying to get to his feet. The Rated R Superstar on his tail. And there's a spear by Edge. He got Breaker with an emphatic spear. With too many moving parts in this matchup right now to try to get a pinfall. If that weren't for Randy Orr in this matchup, very well may have been over. Off that spear to Braun Breaker. And now the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre is in, who has had his battles with Braun Breaker in the past. And a Glasgow kiss. Into the cover. There's Austin Theory this time, saving the day. What is it going to take in this matchup? Ron Breaker receiving some of the best shots and out of Edge and Drew McIntyre's arsenals. Oh, wait a minute. McIntyre ragdolling the young man back inside the ring. Ron Breaker down and out. Austin Theory reaching for the tag. Oh, wait a minute. McIntyre not going to allow that. There's one for the king of the ring. Ron is down and a spear. Ron Breaker with the spear out of nowhere on Drew McIntyre. Not able to capitalize on a Claymore kick. McIntyre with a Claymore heard around the world. And that'll do it. Ricochet taking care of Orton. Theory down and out. Robert Roode not stepping into the fight in an outnumbered battle. And after an in fact Claymore Drew McIntyre and company walking away with their heads held high. Chaos in the main event tonight. Here are your winners. Drew McIntyre, Ricochet, Dolph Ziggler, and Edge. Well, those four men walking away victorious. But all roads lead to this Sunday night at Money in the Bank. Live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, will Ricochet be taking down the Money in the Bank briefcase? And although they're on the same side, when Edge, McIntyre, and Orton meet in a triple threat, who leaves Columbus, Ohio, World Heavyweight Champion? Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise with hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rock.